Imagine a universe with over 4,000 confirmed exoplanets, each unique and diverse in its own way. In this vast cosmic ocean, we find ourselves in the midst of a grand quest, a quest to classify and understand these distant worlds that spin around stars far from our own sun. The sheer number of these exoplanets and their fascinating diversity necessitates a robust classification system. It's not just about putting labels on them, it's about delving into their mysteries, understanding their formation, evolution, and perhaps the most tantalizing question of all, their potential for habitability. Could any of these distant worlds be a cradle for life as we know it? Or, even more intriguingly, life as we don't know it? But as with any grand quest, there are challenges. We are still in the early stages of exoplanet discovery and exploration. Our knowledge is growing, but it remains incomplete. We observe these far-flung planets through the lens of our telescopes, collecting bits and pieces of data that we then try to piece together into a coherent picture. However, this picture is often like a puzzle with missing pieces. And then there's the diversity. From rocky terrestrial planets not much bigger than Earth, to gas giants dwarfing our Jupiter. From scorching hot Jupiters to ice-cold worlds, the variety of exoplanets is staggering. This diversity makes classification a complex and challenging task. Can we really fit all these diverse worlds into neat categories? Yet the attempt to classify is crucial. It helps us make sense of the cosmos. It guides our research, pointing us towards new questions to ask, new mysteries to solve. It sharpens our understanding of planet formation and evolution. It aids us in identifying those worlds that might potentially harbor life. The quest to classify these celestial bodies is not just about organizing them. It's about understanding their secrets and unlocking the mysteries of the universe. As human curiosity delves deeper into the cosmos, the need for an effective exoplanet classification system becomes evident. To make sense of the vast number of exoplanets discovered so far, astronomers have developed two major classification systems. The first one is based on size and mass, while the second one looks at the temperature and composition of these celestial bodies. The size and mass-based classification system splits exoplanets into several categories. Terrestrial planets like Earth are rocky and comparatively small. Gaseous giants, on the other hand, are large planets with thick atmospheres and no solid surface, like Jupiter. Then we have the super-Earths and sub-Neptunes, which are larger than our home planet, but smaller than Neptune. These categories are based on what we know of our solar system, but the universe is vast and diverse. For instance, super-Earths and sub-Neptunes, categories that don't exist in our solar system, are actually the most common types of planets in the Milky Way. Next, we have the classification based on temperature and composition. This system gives us categories like hot Jupiters, ice giants, and water worlds. Hot Jupiters, for example, are gas giants that orbit perilously close to their stars, resulting in scorching temperatures. Ice giants like Neptune and Uranus in our solar system have atmospheres composed largely of heavier volatile substances such as water, ammonia, and methane. Water worlds, as the name suggests, are planets where water may cover a significant portion of their surface. Both these systems have their merits and demerits. The size and mass-based categorization gives us a simple and easy-to-understand framework. However, it's somewhat limited in its scope. For example, it doesn't account for the diversity in planetary atmospheres, which could be crucial in understanding their potential for life. The temperature and composition-based system, on the other hand, provides a more detailed look at the planet's physical characteristics and potential habitability. But it too has its limitations. For one, it heavily depends on the distance of the planet from its star, which isn't the only factor affecting its temperature and composition. And secondly, it requires a lot more data, some of which is beyond our current technological capabilities to gather. Despite these limitations, these classification systems play a crucial role in our understanding of exoplanets. They help us identify patterns and trends and offer a way to predict what undiscovered planets might be like. They also guide scientists in their search for the holy grail of exoplanet research, a planet that could potentially harbor life. 
In addition to these two major systems, there are also alternative classification schemes. Some are based on theories of planetary formation, categorizing planets by the way they're thought to have been formed. Others look at the habitability potential, focusing on parameters like the presence of water, the planet's distance from its star, and the suitability of its atmosphere for life as we know it. While these systems have their shortcomings, they provide a framework to comprehend the diversity of exoplanets and guide us in our exploration. While we've made considerable progress in exoplanet classification, the universe isn't done surprising us. Indeed, the future of exoplanet classification is a field ripe with promise and potential, as we continually refine our understanding and techniques. A significant part of this refinement process is ongoing research efforts, which aim to improve our classification systems. This involves not only enhancing the accuracy of our existing categories, but also expanding our classification parameters. As we continue to unearth new exoplanets with unique and unexpected characteristics, the need to incorporate these novel aspects into our classification systems becomes increasingly apparent. For instance, we may need to consider new physical and chemical properties, such as magnetic fields or exotic atmospheric compositions, in our future schemes. This is where the role of upcoming missions and telescopes comes into play. The James Webb Space Telescope, now soaring in the cosmos, is one such mission that promises to revolutionize our understanding of exoplanets. Its advanced suite of instruments will enable us to probe deeper into exoplanet atmospheres revealing intricate details about their compositions and dynamics. This will not only enrich our existing categories, but also potentially unveil new ones. Moreover, future missions will allow us to explore the internal structures of these distant worlds. Understanding the internal makeup of an exoplanet is a crucial piece of the puzzle. It can provide insights into the planet's formation history, its current state, and even its potential for hosting life. For instance, knowing whether a planet has a molten core like Earth or a solid one like Mars can inform us about its geological activity, magnetic field, and ultimately, its habitability. However, as we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we must also prepare for the unexpected. The universe is a vast and diverse place, and it's not beyond the realm of possibility that we might encounter alien planets with characteristics that don't fit neatly into our existing categories. This is not a limitation, but rather a thrilling opportunity. It challenges us to adapt and evolve our classification systems, keeping them dynamic, flexible, and reflective of the universe's rich diversity. Indeed, the future of exoplanet classification is not set in stone. It's a field in flux, continually transforming as we gather more data and refine our techniques. It's a testament to our enduring curiosity, our relentless pursuit of knowledge, and our quest to comprehend our place in the grand cosmic tapestry. In the end, our understanding of exoplanets is only as good as our ability to classify them. And as we continue to refine this ability, we are not only expanding our cosmic horizons, but also paving the way for future explorations and discoveries. As we gather more data and refine our techniques, the future of exoplanet classification looks promising. So let's keep our eyes on the skies, for who knows what wonders await us in the cosmic ocean. The universe is a grand tapestry, and exoplanet classification helps us make sense of it. The cosmos, in all its infinite glory, is filled with countless exoplanets, each with its own unique traits. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of these distant worlds, the classification systems we've developed become invaluable tools not just for organizing our knowledge, but for shaping our future explorations as well. Improved classification allows scientists to zero in on specific types of exoplanets. Suppose a researcher is particularly interested in studying super-Earths, planets that are larger than our own, but smaller than gas giants like Neptune. By focusing on this category, the scientist can better understand the conditions and processes that lead to the formation of such planets. Similarly, suppose we find exoplanets that fall under the category of water worlds, planets with significant amounts of water in any form. These planets become points of interest for researchers studying the potential for life beyond Earth. 
With an effective classification system, these researchers can concentrate their efforts on these water worlds, greatly enhancing the efficiency and efficacy of their studies. Now imagine the role of classification in planning future exoplanet exploration missions. Let's say we're planning a mission to study potentially habitable planets. A robust classification system can help us identify promising candidates. For instance, terrestrial planets in the habitable zone of their stars, often called Goldilocks planets, could be prime targets. By streamlining the selection process, classification aids in the design of exploration missions, ensuring our resources are used effectively. The role of classification extends beyond research and exploration. It's also instrumental in designing the tools we use to study exoplanets. For instance, the James Webb Space Telescope, currently orbiting a million miles from Earth, was designed with specific types of exoplanets in mind. Its instruments were crafted to study the atmospheres of hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit very close to their stars. Without a clear understanding of these categories, designing such specialized instruments would be like shooting in the dark. Finally, classification plays a vital role in public understanding. The concept of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system, can be quite abstract. Classifying these exoplanets into understandable categories like rocky planets, gas giants or ice giants helps us communicate the diversity of these distant worlds to a wider audience. This in turn fosters a sense of wonder and curiosity about the universe inspiring the next generation of astronomers and scientists. In conclusion, the classification of exoplanets is not just about putting labels on distant worlds. It's a dynamic and evolving tool that aids in targeted research, mission planning, instrumental design, and public communication. Classification is not just a tool for organization, but a compass guiding us in our journey through the cosmos. The quest to classify exoplanets is an ongoing journey filled with discoveries, challenges, and endless possibilities. As we've journeyed through the cosmos in this discussion, we've seen the vast diversity of these celestial bodies, from terrestrial to gaseous planets, from hot Jupiters to ice giants, and even the potential for water worlds. Each of these classifications tells us a story about the planet's formation, evolution, and potential for life. The classification of exoplanets is not a static process, but rather a dynamic and evolving tool that continues to adapt to new discoveries and data. It's like a celestial map charting our understanding of the cosmos. It is an essential part of our cosmic toolkit, enabling scientists to target their research on specific types of exoplanets with high potential for habitability or interesting features. Yet, as we've also seen, creating a comprehensive classification system is no easy task. With incomplete data and a vast array of diverse planet types, the task of classification presents its own set of challenges. But these challenges do not deter us, rather they inspire us to push forward, to refine our tools and broaden our understanding. With the launch of the James Webb Telescope, we're on the precipice of a new era of exoplanet discovery and classification. This cutting-edge technology will provide us with more in-depth data on exoplanet atmospheres, compositions, and internal structures, enabling us to refine our classification systems further. But even as we make strides in our understanding, there remain unanswered questions and emerging areas of exploration. What unique and unexpected types of planets might we discover? How will these new discoveries reshape our classification systems? And perhaps most intriguingly, what might these alien worlds tell us about the potential for life beyond our own planet? As we continue to explore, we'll continue to classify, helping us understand not just our place in the universe, but the universe itself.